net operating income. We're gonna be going over what NOI is used for, what the importance of NOI is, how exactly to calculate NOI, or how to calculate effective gross income and operating expenses, which are a part of calculating NOI. I'm not gonna make it super confusing. I'm gonna keep everything super simple, but these are things that you need to know in order to grasp NOI. We're gonna be going over a quick example of NOI, and then we're gonna be going over the different numbers and different pieces of income you can find using NOI and like different little calculations, cap rate, debt service coverage ratio, and net income, all those things you can find using NOI, and you'll have to find your NOI before calculating those things. I wanna preface this video by saying I'm not a expert, I'm just a regular guy that wants to learn and grow. I go and do the research for you. Any topics that interest me, sales, business, real estate, personal development, mindset, whatever it may be, if you're interested in any of those topics, subscribe to the channel. But let's get into it. So NOI, net operating income is exactly what it sounds like. It's called net operating income because it's the net income that you're left over after all of your operating expenses. And you'll see that later with the formula that I'm gonna show you how to calculate net operating income, but that's exactly what it is. It's the leftover net income, not gross. Net is just the aftermath of everything that's taken out. So net operating income, you're left with net income after operating expenses. Net operating income is important because it gives you a dive into the true cash flow of a rental property. It's also the driving number behind valuation of income producing real estate. It's also important to know because you can calculate uh, various different things with NOI, for example, if you wanted to calculate your capitalization rate, often referred to as cap rate for a property, you'll take your NOI and you'll divide it by the purchase price or the valuation of the property. Debt service coverage ratio is another piece that you can find out using net operating income or NOI. You do so by taking NOI and dividing it by the debt service. Later in the video, we'll talk about how to calculate operating expenses. Your debt service, so like your mortgage payments or the payments you're making to the seller, whatever type of finance you're doing, that debt service is not included in the NOI formula. That is not a part of an operating expense and should be left out when you're calculating uh, your net operating income. Net cash flow is something you can also calculate using NOI. You'll take your NOI and you'll subtract the debt service, leaving you with your net cash flow. How exactly do you calculate NOI? So very simple terms, you take your effective gross income or your gross income and you subtract your operating expenses excluding your debt service and you'll be left with your NOI. But you can kind of break this down into further little segments if you want to get super specific and more accurate. If you want to take that first part of the NOI calculation, which is the effective gross income, you will take your scheduled rents assuming 100% occupancy, so no vacancies, then you'll take vacancy into account, subtract the vacancy from the scheduled rents. This all will be annualized, so whatever number you get, you will multiply by 12 to make it an annual number. You'll take your vacancy, the current vacancy, based on the property's valuation or your best estimation, which can kind of be dangerous because it's a, it's a pretty big determining factor whether a rental property or an income producing property is profitable or not. Uh, but you'll take the current vacancy or the best estimation of the vacancy that you can put together. You'll add any other income sources like uh, any fees or laundry or vending or parking, et cetera and then you'll be left with your effective gross income. So that's how you calculate your effective gross income. Your operating expenses, an easy way to define operating expenses is any and all costs associated with operating the piece of real estate or that property, excluding your debt service. That is the only thing left out of calculating your operating expenses if you want to get your net operating income. Things like taxes, insurance, management, salaries of employees, utilities, repairs, maintenance, capex, etc are all operating expenses that you would calculate into your net operating income. So you'll take those two things, your effective gross income, and then you'll take your operating expenses and you will take that number, subtract your operating expenses, and you'll be left with your net operating income. A very quick and easy example, just so you can kind of visualize what's going on, is if I had a property with an effective gross income of a million dollars, and all of the operating expenses excluding debt service added up to $450,000, your net operating income would be $650,000. If you're interested in any topics related to sales, business, 
real estate, personal development, mindset, any topics I'm really interested in, I go and I do the research for you. So if you want to learn and grow alongside me, join the tribe, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.